In principle, binoculars haven't fundamentally changed. Of course, the optics become incrementally more and more and more sophisticated. But there's a really romantic notion for me attached with that. There's a lot about objects like this that speak to a, a kind of a backlash against technology. You know, that these things will remain constant. And in many ways, unlike digital things, they're completely future-proof. And that's an incredibly reassuring thought these days. One only has to go to the Swarovski factory. I'm talking really specifically about the optics. That's a real speciality that they have, which I believe is really second to none in, in the world. I wanted a very, very clean looking result when the hinge was both open and closed. And that's something I don't believe had ever really been solved before. And like all things that are very, that look, appear to be simple, it's, it's incredibly complex from an engineering point of view. So I think, you know, Swarovski did an extraordinary job. You know, it resonates with me on, on many, many levels, not just the process, as I said, but but moving forward, it's a, it's an object which I'll which I'll use, and I'd love to give to friends. Just simply to be able to zoom in on stuff is a is a really magical phenomenon, and, and one that sort of never ceases to delight me, at least. 